Very good. So, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another School of Port live session. Uh, I'm Gustav. I'm a port wine export manager, but a very proud uh, port geek. Uh, originally from Porto, based in Denmark, in Copenhagen. And I'm super excited that today we will have a quite uh, unusual, different session for all of you. Uh, I, I, we already got some messages that people were finding a bit uh, awkward that it's not uh, the normal Wednesday um, live session so there's a good reason for us to do a live session at 6 p.m. Uh, Portuguese time but also uh, on a Tuesday and that's because today we are going to learn uh, with the true masters of how to make the best port cocktails and this is really exciting for us because we will have uh, Alex and Anna that will be joining us from not from Porto, not from Denmark, uh, not from uh, Canada or the US, but from Siberia, Russia, from Novosibirsk. So we are super excited uh, to uh, to join them. They are both bartenders at a fantastic place called Nobody Knows, I suppose. That we will uh, we are really looking forward to uh, to understand the concept uh, and this is a fantastic place which focuses on uh, port wine and original cocktails. Actually, their motto it is port cocktails and vino. Um, so that that already tells you a lot about their their passion about port wine. Uh, they will be at their bar uh, sharing some of the best recipes with us. So uh, now it's the time to. Grab your shaker and, uh, and join us uh, for a fantastic session. Uh, as usual, the session will, um, will last approximately 30 minutes. And I'm uh, counting on you to uh, please send your questions, use the question option on the live um, uh, session uh, uh, from Instagram, or just type uh, your questions on the comments and I will try to wrap them and uh, uh, make sure that we will ask uh, all of them to, uh, to our um, guests. So, without further ado, let's bring uh, Alex and Anatoly to join us. I will kindly ask them to uh, ask to, uh, to join us. Let's give a few, a few seconds. We might need a bit of time. Let's see. Just a few more seconds. Okay, let's see if... Mm -hmm. Invite. And as you can see, it's uh, a bit far. Actually, it's 6 p.m. in Porto, 7 p.m. in Copenhagen, and it's actually midnight in uh, Novosibirsk. So, here they are. Hello, guys. Hi. Good evening, comrades. Have a little <laughs> problem. With hello, hello. Good to see you. And welcome for, uh, for this uh, you know, exciting session. How are you? We're very good. Uh, first of all, uh, we would like to thank you for this opportunity to join in the School of Port in uh, this live stream. It's a great honor for us. Uh, it's midnight, so we a little bit of for today. Uh, and first of all, we would like to thank you and uh, welcome. Nobody knows about in online, so cheers, everyone. Have a good night. Oh, already? Cheers. <laughs> I, I love the way we are starting. Fantastic. So, uh, this is extremely exciting and, uh, and we are super honored as well that you are joining us, uh, you know, all the way from Novosibirsk. Um, it's super exciting to see what we, you have been uh, doing with port wine at your place. And uh, actually, it's super, uh, you know, we feel very fortunate that you are actually, it's midnight, and you are actually, uh, you have the bar, it's, it's actually your day off. So thank you so much for, for you know, going to your, uh, to your place on your day off. And uh, we look very much forward to, uh, you know, to see some, uh, some of your, uh, you know, exciting uh, cocktails with port wine. But maybe I think it would be interesting for you to, uh, to tell us a bit more about uh, uh, Nobody Knows, I suppose, and about you guys as well. 
Yeah, sure. Uh, just a few words. Actually, we drink. Um, started to drink from uh, our uh, welcome drink. It uh, it's uh, it was gin uh, So every guest who came to the bar, we we give a welcome drink. It's uh, our our homemade recipe. Um, uh, the idea was in uh, 2016. So the bar was opened in a, uh, in a June of uh, 2016, and we. Uh, when we started to uh, think about bar with my uh, with my friend and partner Dmitri, uh, you know Dmitri, right? I know very well. Yes, regards to him. <laughs> we was just a bot in this, and we uh, have not enough money, and we started to look for a for a place where to open uh, our bar, and it was actually it was like garish. It was pretty. Uh, so we uh, decided to make it like a kind of speaky bar. It was mm -hmm. popular in Russia. In, in the, uh, we was uh, inspired by our friend uh, El Capitas Bar. I know this, this, you know these guys. They're from Pittsburgh, and they now are for, uh, in a top 50 best bars in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so we started to think about, uh, you know, um, Front alcohol, you know, the, the base of um, of our our bar, um, you know, and we started to think what we can drink, you know, like a, drink like a shots, uh, drink um, in a chilled glass, drink in a cold glass, and it, it, it you know not so popular. But, you know, we want to. Um, we, we, we want to be creators of something new. Mm -hmm. we thought, right, we want to be explorers. Uh, so, mm -hmm. and like, why? Uh, port wine, it's a, it's a good drink. It's good in the cocktails, it's a good drink in shots, it's a good drink you know, with the ice, you know, glass. so it's a uh, good drink. Uh, and nobody knows about it, you know, um, like uh, about rum or wheat. So we decided... Mm -hmm use this alcohol in our bar and also it was a kind of, you know it was a kind of a mission because um port wine in russia is you know it's russian port wine is pretty bad thing you know <laughs> it's like uh, booze for homeless i don't know so uh, and we uh, decided that it will be our mission to people that it's a it's a good with a big history, so that's really mm -hmm. the port wine, like I you know, a base, base alcohol for our bar. In our bar, we have uh, three main points to concentrate. The first one is the uh, porto, the second one is the uh, music, and the third is the uh, cocktails. Cocktails, yeah. And that's that's uh, yeah, that's something that. Uh, I've always find very exciting and very, you know, very particular to your place, which is you are changing very often your cocktail menu and you have, uh, you know, honestly speaking, I think you have one of the most beautiful menus I've seen for cocktails in my life, which I know it is a piece of art and I, I hope you can share it uh, with, with uh, you know, uh, all the viewers and all of us because it's really worth it to, uh, to have a look. Thank you. <laughs> uh, by the way, we have an award uh, in 2008 or 2017, uh, the, the best cocktail menu in Russia. So uh, it's a kind of a sketchbook, and um, mm -hmm. again, it, it's it's empty. And so we started to paint uh, every week. So every week, uh, four new cocktails. Uh, and you know, wow. and it's it's all painted, uh, it's all hand painted. So it's really kind of a masterpiece. I hope so. So as you can see, and uh, different uh, things of. Um... Yeah. So is that the current one that you 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 currently have? What? Is the, the, the menu you are holding, is that the current one, the one you are offering to your guests? Actually, yes. Uh, actually, this is a, a guest bartending menu. And uh, this is the actual, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, last one, two pages. 
Oh, very nice. Yeah, yeah. And the main idea. And how how often are are you changing it? Every week. So every week. Every week. Yeah. New pages. And uh, the main thing, the main idea, it's uh, you know at the at the end of the book you have a cocktail book, and you can share it. So um, we have um, five uh, equal exam examples of menus. So because we need to share it with guests, and, uh, mm -hmm. the book is end. So we present it to our friends, to our bars, friends bar, different friends. Bar. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Thank you. So I think um, it will be very uh, interesting for us to um, to see uh, what kind of cocktails would you recommend? I mean, maybe one or two uh, cocktails that uh, you could recommend and you could share with all of us as, let's say, good cocktails that we could try to replicate at home. Sure. With port wine, of course. <laughs> we'll make it. I think we will start from bamboo. Cocktail. And today we have uh, two cocktails. The first one was a very uh, classic bamboo. The mix of uh, white dry water and the uh -huh. inner shape. We mix it in uh, equal proportions. In We mix uh, one part of uh, dry water and, and one part of uh, fino sherry in a, in a mixing glass. And a little bit of per se. Ah, okay. To give a little bit you know, uh, citrus uh, flavor for our drink. Would you say that is a, a seasonal cocktail? Is it a cocktail that it's more like a winter style or a summery or a... It's a, it's a, just a one cocktail from our menu because you know, uh, in our menu we have um, one strong cocktail, two highballs, one sour, and one you know, different. So all, all of these <laughs> uh, uh, different styles, different tastes, uh, different uh, ingredients. <laughs> uh, that you, in a five cocktails, you can find Something you wanted to drink. So mm -hmm. it's pretty hard actually. Uh, Chill glass. And the kumquat on a garnish. Interesting. The first one. Oh, very nice. Very interesting. Take a sip. So it's it's actually relatively easy to um, you know to execute. What? It's relatively easy to uh, you know to replicate to execute uh, at home. Yeah. As as far as I can see. Yeah. You need to just uh, uh, equal parts of pot wine, equal part of uh, of uh, fino sherry, and a little bit of per se to. Per se. Yeah. A little bit of flavor, a little bit of orange bitter, that's it. Mixing simple ingredients, but a rich taste. So, but in t taste wise, in terms of taste, is it uh, more towards the sweeter style? No. Or uh... the parts of uh, citrus in taste. Ah, okay, because of. Uh, okay. And then it will. Uh, a little okay. bit of red flowers and cherry. And uh, rich, uh, great taste of uh, from from the port wine. Very interesting. And, uh, and you, you uh, with that one, you only use white one, white port for uh, for the bamboo. Uh, for a uh, white. Grains, grains to dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you don't use, for example, a sweet white or a, a red, uh, let's say, a ruby port on that one. Uh, it's a uh, bamboo twist, so the original bamboo. Uh, it's uh, equal parts of uh, dry vermouth and uh, sherry wine. Sherry, yeah. Yeah, so we change uh, vermouth on a on a pot wine. So and so we get a twist. Interesting. So I see that Anatoly is preparing another one. And the second one was a variation of the Puerto cocktail. 
it's a mix of uh, Bacardi and uh, uh -huh. Tony Port, yeah. So it's a, a little bit of a style of drink that which uh, our guests like very much. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, it's pretty strong, you know, and sweet enough, you know, that in Siberia it's pretty hot. <laughs> Actually, we have a snow <laughs> outside in, in the summer. <laughs> and we uh, use the little bit of thunder. Ah, okay, very interesting. For spicy notes. Uh, and a uh, cacao bitter, a sour cacao bitter. So this cocktail is... So, so you know, I, I'm very curious because I assume that, uh, you know, your, your, I've seen, I haven't been to your place yet, but I've seen lots of pictures. Um, and and it's, it's a lovely, it's a fantastic, cozy place. But I see that as a, you know, as a great uh, speakeasy or a great bar, you have a fantastic display of the, you know, of the, the ports and the spirits and everything behind you. So do, do you have many of your customers that are curious to uh, taste, you know, are they specifically saying, um, you know, could we have a cocktail with uh, that particular port wine or, uh, you know, are people asking for more cocktails with port because they see you have a big uh, offer? Yeah, it's a uh, porta tonic. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. So, you know, really, I, I'm, I'm not lying that uh, uh, at the summertime, the porta tonic is, uh, you know, our best seller. Best seller, yeah. Okay, very interesting. It's, you know, worldwide, it's becoming a very big trend. Uh, many, many, you had the. Uh, GQ magazine and Time Out magazine a few a couple of years ago in the UK that uh, called or, or named uh, white port and tonic as the next gin and tonic or the next aperol spritz. Yeah, uh, and, and you know I think one of the reasons is that it's a low ABV uh, cocktail. You know, it's it's not as strong as uh, you know a, a gin and tonic, and potentially there is a trend for lower ABV. Uh, cocktails. I don't know if it is the case with you in in Novosibirsk. Yeah, um, definitely. Aperol spritz is the best seller in the in, in Russia, in the whole Russia. <laughs> so that's why uh, the is pretty popular in our bar. And um, you told about low ABV cocktail. That's why um, we advise our guests a bamboo cocktail or Adonis. It's a uh, sweet variation for this cocktail. So we use it. For example, not sweet ver not dry vermouth, uh, but sweet vermouth, or dry vermouth, mm -hmm. but, but sweet vermouth. So uh, this is this cocktail is uh, not too strong. It's, but you know, it's um, uh, a character like a strong drink. So you know, if you want something, um, something but without but, gin, yeah, but not so strong. You know, you you, you feel like you know, I want just a one cocktail. I don't want to drink today, but I want something, you know, um, interesting. So mm -hmm. that's why we advise our, uh, advise our uh, guests to, to try bamboo. Uh, and the second one, this is a strong cocktail, the main choice. Uh, good mix with the food. Strong. And, yeah. So, so, so hold on. Uh, uh, Anatoly, you were saying you, you are also serving some food. Uh, we have uh, just uh, two dishes on the day. Uh -huh. One is and uh, main dish. So yeah, and, and okay. And can just every day. So the, uh, this is the, our, from our yeah. So coach change every week. Good menu change every day. Nobody change. Okay. Every day. So and um, this you know our tool to make our guests uh, visit our visit us. At so, because you can try different food, you can try different cocktails. So, so this is very interesting to hear because it means that uh, you know some of your regular customers they can visit you you know once a week, and they will always have something new to try. Yeah. So you you are very dynamic as a you know as a 
as a bar and as a team because you are constantly uh, bringing uh, novelties to uh, you know to your guests yeah exactly so you know sometimes uh, our guests you know calling us so alex anatoly uh, what the food for today so and we, we can <laughs> so tell them you know it will be francis in for example they say oh Jesus. ah francis <laughs> for me is it possible to have is it possible to have francis in our series We, we made it two times uh, for, uh, on our birthday party uh, and so uh, at the grand opening of our place so we made a Francis Z. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been okay. In place, I've been in a place in, uh, in Portugal in the Porto where you know the, the most uh, visible uh, visited place uh, for Francis Z. I think. The, the name oh, we have many. You know, Francis Z, it's like a religion here, uh, especially in Porto. It's a big, uh, you know, it's a relatively democratic uh, type of food because, um, you know, it's it's not that expensive and it's easy. Well, it's quite heavy, but it's easy to match with usually with beer. Um, it's not so wine friendly, I would say, <laughs> uh, but it's very... I'm I'm intrigued to see a, a you know a Russian or a Novosibirsk style Francisinha one day. I will I will make sure uh, to <laughs> to ask it uh, whenever you know the day I I will come and uh, I'll go and visit you. <laughs> so I I I don't know. Sorry, say it again. One one uh back to what's uh, as I told you we um, give our guests like a. Uh, think a shot yeah and um first two months we we do it in a chocolate shots yeah mm-hmm. we know that it's kind of a tradition so that you can uh, uh, buy a shot of gingin in a chocolate shot. and you know this chocolate shots was you know so lot of chocolate and this chocolate was everywhere really so we 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 <laughs> just, just just you know make a sip try this chocolate shot and he said oh my god it's it's too lot of chocolate <laughs> yeah you, you know the, the tradition uh, with that is that you have the chocolate cup you put some ginger and then you usually you you drink but then you can eat the chocolate cup as well yeah um, so usually usually you need to serve whatever you put it inside you need to serve it chill if you serve it quite warm it will melt the chocolate it's not that pleasant we keep it, um we keep it fresh but you know the, the our guests can can't eat too much chocolate so you know they they just put it in a, on at the bar and it feel it melted and the bar was in, in the chocolate <laughs> very interesting so could we see again uh, uh, the porto ronca anatoly was showing it uh, uh some minutes ago just to see the way you, you have the serving how you serve it i'm afraid we drink a okay it's on the yeah 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 big okay big. with a big ice cube i can see cube. yeah some uh, orange zest yeah very interesting um another question which i think it's very interesting uh, to uh to share uh with our viewers is uh that uh, i've seen in the past that quite often you you are also serving port wine on its own you have include in, uh, you have even done uh, i've seen uh, i think a few months back you have done some sort of port wine tasting uh, matching with the food with some food pairing as well okay, it was- uh, how, how was that and how was the the reaction of your guests it was a port wine dinner uh, it was uh, our first Dinner. Actually, was the second dinner. First one on lockdown. Okay. <laughs> okay. But it was Dimitri. I remember it was Dimitri. I think Dimitri was uh, I, I, was was taking the show. I think he's watching us. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, dinner with the port wine. So we we used to, uh, four uh, styles of port wine. Was a uh, Grams Tony it was Grams fine white was Grams Old Tony and Grams fine ruby for a dessert. Uh we make a four courses with the food and um well you know 
guests eating. We talk, we talk about port wine and you know, um, try to make a um, kind of um, food pairing with this port. And uh, I showed you uh, our menu. Uh, uh -huh. it looks like a sketch. So we try to create something about a, a menu for a dinner. So we make mm -hmm. kind of a menu because uh, people need to know what they find, what, what they take a sip. And also we made it uh, like I a postcard. postcard. Yeah. Yes, so every guest after the, after the dinner can take it for, you know, for, uh, for the memory. Kind of so uh, yeah. we, we can see, you know, next comment is that there is a... Uh, one or several very good creative minds uh, in, in, in your team because your marketing, I think it's very, very good and very appealing. And I think that idea of... <laughs> that idea that... Well, you know, I, I, we, <laughs> we didn't arrange this. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a fantastic idea that you, you have specifically created this beautiful postcard which can work as a memory, you know, that people can take with them back home and then they will associate with the experience and they will associate to your place. I think it's, a, it's a, you guys are, you know, uh, taking your concept as a, you know, a cocktail bar focused on cocktails and port and, and music, uh, but also to expand and looking for a food pairing. Um, and, you know, having these, uh, these poor dinners. I think it's super exciting for us to see that uh, uh, happening, not only in restaurants, but in a cocktail bar. I, I, I find it very, you know, exciting, and it shows that you are very versatile as well. Thank you very much. We are very appreciated. <laughs> so, and I, I am wondering, so you have the two, uh, the two cocktails with you. I'm actually... Uh, I, I haven't done any cocktail myself because uh, you know I'm I'm still on a learning learning curve when it comes to cocktails. But um, but after this session, I will definitely give a try to uh, to those two cocktails. But if I have to ask you, um, in terms of port wine styles, so you have white port, ruby port, and tawny uh, tawny port. Uh, which style do you think it's the most versatile? So that's question number one. And that, that means versatile for cocktails. And then question number two is, which one do you think it, it is more, um, uh, you know, that, that in your particular bar and in your particular city, uh, you know, people seem to appreciate the most? I think the most popular in cocktails is the fine ruby porter or tawny porter. Um, but uh, guests, I think, always asking about uh, dry, dry, white, white dry port. Uh, in Russia, we have uh, port culture, and our guests uh, indicate something new about uh, new product for uh, them. Yes. Yeah, so, for example, they um, the, 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 they like to uh, take a seat. Try, to, try, to, take a try at different styles mm -hmm. of port wine. Yes, yeah, so something new. I think I think two ago was uh, you know most popular uh, port wine in our bar was uh, rose there, and um, and people every time ask about it because and it it's really it's pretty um, it's not very popular in Russia, so it's it's very hard to get it in a bar. Uh, so also they uh, ask now they asking about dry port and it, it also you know uh, we can get it very seldom so we can find it a lot for people. So and I, I have you know after listening to this I have a, a, a question which I usually like to make to um, you know to to mixologists and and, and cocktail experts. Uh, and I, I usually do it a lot in, in Copenhagen where I live, in the, in the cocktail bars there, which is, um, if you have, so let's say, you know, I, we arrive now to, to your place, um, you know, the, the School of Port team, 
uh, and we arrived there, and some of us, okay, some of us, some of us, no, we will let you know, don't worry, but some of us <laughs> um, will go and say, Alex, Anatoly, um, we would like to have a cocktail and you choose, you know, and I, that, that is one option, okay, and then you have another option, which is someone, let's say me, I go and I say, oh, fantastic, you have... Uh, Dalva Porto. I like, I love Dalva Porto. It's fantastic. Can I just have a glass of that? Yes. Like straight? Yeah, sure, no problem. But for you as mixologists, cocktail experts, do, do, for you, are you comfortable that uh, um, you either have guests that... Um, will ask for a cocktail that you have to implement all, all your knowledge and you know you have to to go through the story or you are comfortable that someone comes and says oh i like this port can i just have a glass of this port or that uh, you know per se or a, a gin um, because i i always i'm asking this because i always find that some cocktail experts mixologists they only like the customers that they will ask for a big cocktail. They don't like the customers that will just say, ah, I'm fine with a, a gin and tonic, you know. <laughs> I, I know I know what you're talking about. And the first place, uh, uh, our cocktail family, it's called Friends Bar. Um, it's a more cocktail place. This place, it's, you know, it's not about a, just a cocktail one it's about an atmosphere so feel comfortable and you want to just a port wine in a glass uh this ice or without ice whatever you want so if you if see it, it's right. yes so if you want to just a port wine if you want a 20 years old port wine with just a tonic no problem it's your decision we can say do wait a 20 years old wine come on stop it but you can say, <laughs> I know what I want. I want a 20 years old port wine with a tonic. No problem. So we, uh, we work in a, a, for an atmosphere, not for, we're not, we're not serving drinks, serving their guests. So that's the main idea. Yeah, I, I have, maybe I need to make a, a disclaimer uh, for our viewers because we had uh, a, a, a conversation or a, a previous session the other day uh, and and I was very impressed I must say that uh, you, you know when you mentioned that today it's your day off and and the bar is closed uh, because you are only open from Wednesday onwards um, and and I you know I said oh you know so you know the atmosphere will not be the same and you Alex, you said something very interesting uh, that I, I will keep in mind. You said, the place is about the people. <laughs> that, this place is about the people. And I think it is a, you know, a, a very beautiful, strong message uh, that describes your, uh, you know, your, uh, your, uh, your bar and uh, you know, the atmosphere that you, you, you like to implement or to have in your bar. And that I hope, hopefully, uh, we have... Uh, uh, we are sharing with uh, with many viewers that uh, you know from now on the the next time they they will consider to go to Novosibirsk uh, they um, they will definitely uh, go and visit you. Please be our guest. So uh, we are already half an hour. Um, I can't really see a lot of questions. And I think we have covered a lot of topics. Maybe a couple of interesting facts that uh, I, I also find it very amusing. That uh, uh, and that, that I think it shows your your connection with port wine uh, being so uh, far away. Uh, which is Alex? Could you tell the audience the name of your dog? Yeah, I, I take a dog uh, um, from the pet shelter, and it, it's named Port. Uh -huh. So my, my cat's name, <laughs> you know, I, can't, I have a, you know, a uh, bamboo twist now. Oh, <laughs> right. So you have the dog, he's Porto, and the cat is Sherry. Yeah, and we, you know, we collect <laughs> different stuff from, from our um, travels. So look what I have in our bar. 
Oh wow, wow. That's something we can we can easily see in Porto. Maybe it was in a Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, you know thank you so much uh, Alex and Anatoly first of all for the, taking the time at midnight uh, you know to go on on the day off to open your bar and uh, you know taking this fantastic session for all of us it, we, we find it very uh, you know inspiring and really honored that you have taken uh, you know such such time and uh, thank you so much for all your uh, you know, passion and enthusiasm towards port wine. I'm sure that uh, many of us that are watching and uh, many of, of the colleagues in Porto, they will be very happy to wel welcome you in, um, in Oporto and, uh, and also in the Toro Valley in the, in the future. Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. And we hope that we some, somehow, sometime, have a uh, chance to visit uh, Porto. Uh, this our bar, you know, make kind of a guest bar tenant in the, in the, your bar. So we we're working on it, really. <laughs> we will we will. Uh, I'm sure we can we can uh, we we could work on that and we could help you on that uh, in the future. So thank you so much, guys. Cheers once again. Let's see where I can. <laughs> Cheers and uh, see you. Yeah, thank you. See you soon. Thank you for so good, we say. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. All right. So thank you so much for uh, everyone that watched this uh, session. As I said, uh, a very unusual one directly from a cocktail bar in Novosibirsk. Uh, nobody knows, I suppose, a beautiful name for you to, to follow in the future. Uh, please uh, send us some suggestions and continue to follow us uh, for um, the future sessions. Uh, and if you have any doubt, any suggestion, just drop us a line and uh, we will keep in touch. Thank you so much and uh, have a fantastic evening and rest of the week. Cheers. And don't forget the port. Bye-bye. <coughs> Cheers. <coughs>